Hello friends, good evening, Brandy here, and I am so happy to be back with you live again. Um, I am back from my mom's house. It is very good to be home. <laughs> it was a good visit, but it is always good to be home again. So anyway, um, today is day 24 of our 30 days of wellness and connection together. And today I'd like to talk to you about emotional eating. And I know when you hear that, you're thinking of um, overeating emotionally, and I am going to talk about that a little bit. Um, but I do also just want to talk about the process of eating and how focusing on our emotions can help to boost our health too. So I mentioned yesterday when we were talking about how to get back on track with your health goals after having an indulgent <laughs> holiday like Thanksgiving that we just had, um, or getting back on track from a vacation or where, and whenever uh, you have gone off track of, of eating a certain way that is best for your health. So I mentioned yesterday that weight loss is not something I typically work with people on simply because it is part of my health journey that I haven't quite figured out. But also, even if I did, I think I would be reluctant to work with uh, weight loss just because I don't believe in step-by-step -step plans. Um, it is very complicated and I feel like everyone needs a personal touch. And I am seeing a personal trainer. We're doing workouts together. Um, this is actually our last week, but she's also been giving me nutrition advice as well, which has been really helpful. And um, so I always think it's a good idea to work with someone personally too, who knows your health history and can maybe just give you another perspective. Even if you know a lot about nutrition, someone else can see your situation from another point of view that is really helpful. And that's what I'm receiving right now from Martine. Um, so let us talk first a bit about overeating, since I know that's what you want. <laughs> and I'll share the advice that I am getting and what is working for me. And then we'll move into just the emotional part of this process too, which is very helpful. So we know that when we eat, we get a dose of dopamine, which is a feel-good hormone that the body produces. It's a neurotransmitter produced in the brain. And this is a reward chemical. So we eat something that's pleasurable and your body's like, oh, that was so good. Um, and you just, you get that, that satisfaction from eating this food. So we usually get this from any food, but particularly <laughs> the ones that we really enjoy, which might be really sugary and indulgent. And what creates an issue or a problem sometimes is when we are reaching for foods and we're not conscious of our choices, we may be feeling bad about ourselves for some reason, or even just busy or bored, or in my case, it, I'm procrastinating, I need to do something, and I'm like, oh, I'm, I'm hungry, I need to eat first, and it's usually not the case. Um, we'll get into how to stop this cycle, but anyway, we, um, we typically reach for foods when we want to fill this need, when we're feeling bad or just want this, this dopamine response. But then if the food is not good for us, <laughs> we might be feeling the negative symptoms in our body um, or we may just be feeling guilt and shame about it because we know it's not a good choice. So we put ourselves on this strict diet again, which is no fun at all, and then we're feeling bad again. We want that dopamine fix. <laughs> so this is a cycle many of us get into. So let's talk about how to break the cycle. Obviously, bringing mindfulness into this is huge but it is hard. Here I am a mindfulness practitioner and it's still really hard for me because even if you are mindful, the mind likes to justify <laughs> things. 
So anyway, um, what my nutritionist is asking me to do is not just be mindful of, of what I'm reaching for, but really ask myself why I'm doing this, really process that. Um, so it's not just, well, I just need this. And it's just a little bit, um, cause if it's a quick conversation with yourself like that, um, again, it's easier to just take it in. But if you really sit with what you're feeling, take the time um, and process it, you can decide, am I really hungry? Or am I just emotionally needy right now? Um, or whatever that is, we want to name that urge and really process it. Um, and yeah, oftentimes I'm thirsty, so it's not even hunger. I do need to be filled, but it's with water, not food. Um, and yeah, so in this pause, you can you can make better choices. So just pause, be mindful of why you are wanting to go to the refrigerator <laughs> and why you are wanting certain foods. Is it really to fuel you? Um, and then you could start to think of your eating that way, that you are looking at food as fuel, not just, um, not just to fill yourself, but to give yourself energy and more life, more nutrients, of course. Um, so really think about it that way too when you are actually eating. Um, and when you're reaching for something, is this fuel? Or is this something that I'm going to burn quickly and it's just not worth it? Uh, so process that. And then see if you're not really hungry if you can fill this emotional need with something else. So remember I said that dopamine is this reward chemical? Well, it can also, you could also get a good dopamine surge when you complete a task. You know that pat on the back feeling, that's dopamine. Um, even deep breathing. So you're actually filling your body with this nourishment with the breath. So maybe a few deep breaths will help you settle into your body and that will fill, fulfill this emotional need. Um, and then other self-care activities, taking a bath, giving yourself a self-massage or paying someone else to massage you. You get a dopamine surge from that. Using essential oils is a quick way that you can get a dopamine surge. And I drove home from my mom's house today. It's a four hour drive. I had a lot of snacks <laughs> with me in the front seat. I should have put them in the back seat, but I thought that my son would eat them all. So they were with me. I was starting to eat chips and um, I know, and I shouldn't even have had chips, but whatever. I had chips and, um, and I was like, I'm, I'm eating because I want to stay alert. It was part of this driving experience of me needing to, me to be present. So I felt like the eating was keeping me involved <laughs> with driving um, or to make it more pleasurable or something. Um, and I realized that in the moment, I'm like, okay, I, I feel my stomach. I have had enough chips. Um, not feeling bad about it. Let's just move forward from here what else can satisfy this need? Um, what can make this more pleasurable? Um, I could have turned on the radio, but in that moment, I reached for my Magnolia essential oil. So that did the trick. I did turn on the radio later. Um, maybe a good conversation would have been good too, but my son had his headphones in. Anyway, so look for another way that you can get that dopamine fix. So let us talk more about emotions and eating in general. So when we are eating, we're wanting to, to assimilate nutrients. Um, and we already talked a lot about digestion, but we know that um, we've also talked about traditional Chinese medicine and you know that emotions and that being part of holistic health 
uh, which is also aligned with TCM. I'm bringing this all together. <laughs> Be patient. Um, that our emotions has an impact on our physical health. So if we can concentrate on these more as we're eating, regardless of what we're eating really, then we can improve our health. So this is a little layer above what I was just talking about. We're talking about now the power of the mind and the heart and how it is linked with our physical health. So let's try to leave the guilt and shame out of this eating process. Yes, these are natural human emotions. I don't think either is really that helpful in any situation. They are very low vibe emotions. Um, like anger can be productive. Anger can get you somewhere sometimes, but guilt and shame, uh -uh, they keep you down. And we don't want to be involved with them with our eating. They serve no purpose whatsoever. So if you are eating something indulgent, try to really enjoy it. Try to enjoy it afterwards. <laughs> Even if you are experiencing bloating or whatever, you can just laugh about it and say, okay, I will make a better choice next time. But try not to let yourself really get down about it because you will spiral even more in that cycle we just talked about. So, of course, um, we do experience higher emotions more of the time when we are eating more nutrient-dense food. All food, so all plants, all animal products, they're all qi. In Chinese medicine, we do eat animal products. I used to be a vegetarian, I'm not anymore. I'm not making a statement about this style of eating and um, your ethical beliefs. Just know that from this perspective, all food is life, all food. And so we're bringing in life regardless of what animal or plant we're talking about. The issue is when we are eating food that's not really food. So see if you can make a choice that does have some nutrition. Have a more nutrient dense food that does have a lot of life in it. And this will help keep you in these higher vibe emotions too. Um, Cause if it is something that is highly processed, you may go down into those lower vibe emotions and it will be hard to, to control that. So that is some advice, <laughs> um, a lot that you can consider. Let me know if there's something, if you have a thought about this that you think would be helpful to others, I would love to hear it as well. I just did some quick processing for you and this is what was our, on my heart and mind right now. So I'm going to be practicing this more and we'll see how it goes. Um, but remember, just like I talked about yesterday, just move forward. Eating is a wonderful process. We are in these, um, these healthy bodies, our bodies are temples, and just think of them that way and that you are filling your bodies as you're eating with this fuel that is going to sustain your life and allow you to do wonderful things with it. So um, I will see you again tomorrow, friends. Take care.